Alright, today we're having a look at Toggle Puppet Puzzle by Little Black Adder. Alright, so here we are in Toggle Puppet Puzzle by Little Black Adder, and uh, they tell us that it's gonna be a bit of a simpler toggle puzzle for beginner players or kids, which is cool. Uh, I like the, the pullout here to give us a, a look at what the level's actually going to be looking like. I think that's kind of neat. And everything is very clearly labeled, which of course is going to work for be beginner players who don't maybe use toggle very often or haven't used toggle before. And that is that is nice. I do appreciate that. Uh, Little Black Adder uh, was somebody who was doing a lot of support for us when we first started up the show on a Little Big Network. And uh, they were very active in kind of being in touch and let me know how the videos are going. And I haven't heard from them in a while since Little Big Network uh, dropped off. So to have the opportunity to take a look at one of uh, their new levels was, I thought, really, really cool. I, I appreciate the fact that they are still involved in LBP and they're still making things. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I've always been a, a fairly big fan of... I don't know why that L button is there. Maybe to change layers, perhaps? Are we going for kind of a changey layery type of thing? That doesn't seem to move, so okay. Ah, because there's a switch. Uh, I'm, I like this material set, and I, I like this kind of the poppity, puzzly setup that they've got going on here. It's something that I've always appreciated when it shows up. It doesn't always show up. I got kind of stuck there. That was weird. Uh, not the level's fault, just, I think, physics in LBP. But I do, I do enjoy... Uh, I'm... Uh, hello? Hello? I'm... Excuse me? Can I change? I can't change. Crumbs! I don't know what just happened there. That is really weird. I, I don't think that's on the level. I, again, I think that's just a... Uh, a bit of, of weirdness in how the physics works in LBP, and I probably shouldn't have changed when I did change. It wasn't really necessary. The levels, wow, actually, the is moving. That's a bit strange. Oh, are we are we done? Oh, we did it. We're done. Okay, I wasn't sure because there's like only 35 seconds left. Uh, very quick moving. I, I really like the feel of the pace of that level. I think that was really nice. Uh, we're going to be talking about this more back in the hub, of course, and we will see you there. See yas! And we're back! And Toggle Puppet Puzzle by Little Black Adder. And I would say it's a green circle. It's it's one that I found really charming, and it's a level that I've, I found really good. I, I, I know that some people might, might disagree, might bump it down to a yellow square, but it is, I, I feel, a, really a quite solid level. Now, as we mentioned in the video, and, and Little Black Adder back in the day, uh, was a very early supporter of the channel. Uh, you know, gave me a lot of feedback, gave me a lot of support. It was somebody I always appreciated seeing. And, and I, now that little, little big network has kind of, well, is gone these days, and we don't really have the contact that we had in the past, and, and that's a bit of a shame. So to see Little Black Adder's name pop up in my recent activity feed and having a new level and I was I was really excited I really wanted to give this one a go because we, we took a look at uh, their cardboardy memories of LVP1 way back in roughly 50 minutes fresh episode 2 that's season 1 so it was really early on and I found it a very effective and a very uh, affecting level it, it had bits of nostalgia to it but it was still a, a very solidly designed level, a very solidly presented level that didn't just crutch on nostalgia. And, and we've played some other of uh, Little Black Adder's levels on, on streams, and I've just always generally found them to be quite enjoyable. So this new level came up and I said, let's go, let's do it, let's play it. And it is, as I said, it, it's very, very solid. It's a level type that I feel like I don't really run into as much as I should. And I think that this type of level should be a little bit more uh, better represented more well represented, excuse me for grammar, uh, in LBP, and it's a, a tutorial style 
level. A level that, that takes you through the various abilities of a particular character or of a particular power-up so that when you run into those characters or those power-ups in other bulkier levels where you're going to need to know how they work, that you've got a little bit of grounding in them. And that, that is actually a failing that I felt even in the story mode of the game itself of LBP3 that they, they didn't really take you through through the power-ups and take you through the characters as well as we saw in LBP2 and, and left me feeling in the very last stage where it's quite important that you've got a good idea of how these characters work that I, I felt that I was ill-prepared for that. So I, I do love seeing these types of levels. I love seeing types of levels that we can introduce new players to and say, you know, hey, this is how the game works. This is what we do basically and, and hopefully that you'll find this enjoyable. It is hand-holdy. I think you could say that, but that makes sense for, you know, the effect that is being going for. That you know, everything is clearly labeled. You'll, you'll know when you need to use any ability that you're going to be working with. Uh, the toggle abilities as well, I, I felt, were both well represented in the small form toggle and in the long, uh, the long form, the large form toggle. So there were, wasn't really anything that was kind of shunted off to the side. A lot of times I, I find that when we play toggle levels, that really the focus is on small toggle. And you use big toggle just a little bit to get through a couple of puzzles, but it is not really well integrated into the level. But here, I, I think we, we see both sides of, of toggle and, and both sides used pretty well. As, as I mentioned in the video, I really like this particular presentation style. I like this set of materials. I, I, I like things that, that, that are not necessarily presenting a real environment, like not a real castle or real space station, but something that looks like a kid might put together with materials around the house and kind of taping together and pasting together and putting thumbtacks and things and, and making their castle, making their environment. I've always loved that aspect of the visual presentation of LBP and I felt that it has kind of, as the series progressed, is kind of dropped by the wayside. So it's nice to see a little bit of a hearkening back to that here as well. I don't really have any major negative things to say about the level. For someone who is a little bit more, has a little bit more experience with the character, has a little bit more experience with LVP3, they may not get quite as much out of it as, as somebody a bit newer. I, I, I could see that happening. Uh, as far as kind of breaking things and you know, physics issues, running around in, in the water section and with those, uh, the grabbable round bits, and we, we've got to slot them into, well, slots so that it's going to open up a, um, a pathway to continue on. And, and in the video, I'd ended up getting myself stuck in there, and I, I couldn't actually transform into the other toggle form. I was in the small toggle form. I couldn't transform into the larger toggle form. I, I couldn't seem to escape from that section. I don't really know what was going on with that. It just seemed to happen. Um, I don't think it's really going to be something that would come up for uh, other players. I think you kind of have to try to make that happen or else be really unlucky like I was. Uh, but I don't think that it's, it's going to cause any real issues with with the level and it's not really a breaking issue and that kind of I think really hits everything oh I, one thing I did want to mention I really liked the preview video you know when you first enter into the the level and you kind of trigger a bit of a cutscene where it's, it takes you across the camera pans across the entire level you can see what's coming up I thought that was a neat technique and it, it gave us a feeling of that the level being uh, what's going to be coming up of course but also that the level is not really a big and overbearing level and I, I think at coming in about two minutes 48 seconds two minutes 30 seconds depending on how you go through it uh, it, it's a nice, easy level to slot into a cooldown playlist, which is something we've mentioned in the past. Is something that I really do happen to like. Uh, lots of positives here. Very, very few negatives. Little Black Adder, I think you've done an excellent job with this, and I'm so glad that I got to play uh, a new level from you. I hope that you continue on with creating and keep us in the loop and let us know when uh, you've got something new coming up, because I'd love to take a look at it either on the show or on the stream. 
But I think that pretty much does it for us this go about. So from me, Visco, here in Osaka, to all of you out there, wherever you may happen to be, thank you, thank you. Arigato, arigasamu, ryota, sayonara, see you, and ciao.